This is why embodiment is so important. There's my, there's my person. If we look here, this is what they, in chakras, they would call it the third eye, prefrontal cortex, right? Uh, do anybody know who Joe Dispenza is? Joe Dispenza would say that when, he, he wrote a whole book on the brain and everything, but if we break it down, he'll say that people who function from their prefrontal cortex can hold an intention in mind and they, they become super massively productive, get a lot done, they live in joy, they're basically cultivating flow states, the way I look at it. Those that live from the side of their brain, they're dealing in thought, uh, fear, doubt, and worry a lot. And so there's a sense that this receives back. Notice when you're getting shit done, there's a sense that you're in flow, you're focused, you're connected, you're making this happen. And then when your mind recedes back in and goes this way, and there's a sense of just kind of thinking a lot, that's when you start to get your fear out and worry, okay? And he has tons of examples in his book about that. So we'd say this is the sixth chakra, if you want to call them chakras. But in science, we could say it's the prefrontal cortex. I'd say this is where intention is created, right? I spelled it wrong, but that's, you can see why. You can see intention. And you set an intention here, and then it drops down. And I would say this here is the next one. It's the, they would call this the throat chakra that I want to talk about. This is basically your ability to speak your truth with congruency, it's your voice. I'm going to say speaking with freedom. I'm going to write this difference. Why is this important? This is really interesting because when this energy drops to here, what happens, I see this a lot in energetic embodiment, is this whole area will bind, the face will bind, and you'll feel the voice change because they're, they don't want to be seen. or like, There's so much that's heard through the voice. Women judge you so much on your voice. Is he confident? Is he insecure? I could say, hi, my name's Brian. And you can feel the insecurity in that, right? Or you can drop back down and say, hi, what's your name? And you can feel the emotion. So much emotion comes through the voice. The voice is such a powerful mechanism. So the more you can speak with your personal power and your freedom means the more you're letting the energy drop through here, 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 into the throat. And this is why I believe that so many people grind. I don't know if any of you guys out there grind, but they pull the energy back up in here in the night they're grinding because they don't want to, they're ultimately pulling the energy back and they don't want it to drop into their heart. They don't want to feel the vulnerability. They don't want to feel the pain of what's in their heart because the heart holds so much emotion and so much feeling. So a lot of guys, I'll be having them do heart work this is so common. Working on that heart, opening their vulnerability, and nothing's happening. So I go up to here and I start getting them to let go all through the face and the jaw and down into the throat. And then bam, this thing goes and they're like, holy fuck. And then they want to tighten back up here and pull back up. And if you just take a moment, everybody do this online, tighten a hair in the throat and feel how much less you feel your heart and then relax the hair in the throat and the jaw and the face and feel how the energy can drop down into your chest. Go back and forth four or five times. You'll notice that difference. Who can feel that difference? Raise your hand in this room if you can feel it. Okay, cool. Good, good group of you. How about you guys online? Are you noticing the difference? Okay, good, good, good. That's important. So this to me allows for speaking with freedom. So this then allows energy to drop into the heart and if you've got the heart, if your intention is congruent with your heart and your heart's in love with it, you'll be able to speak your truth about it. So if this is lit up and this is lit up, that means the energy is running through here and you'll be able to speak with more power. I'm gonna do this. It's time to make this happen. You state your goal, uh, I am a millionaire. I'm a billionaire, I'm free. That's, that becomes really powerful. And because the heart is now falling in love with it and expressing it out with love. And whatever you fall in love with, becomes easy to manifest or create. This is, this is the pathway to flow state, okay? You gotta feel through the body, guys, okay? So the heart, a lot of people say the heart, this is the, where the soul is stored, the center of the soul, the emotional body, and I believe at the highest level, this is where you're really feeling a bulk of your cap from. It's like, it's like a power source, and it goes out and touches people, and people go, oh, I like this guy, right? But if I just tighten in the jaw, if I look at you and tighten in the jaw and go up here just a little bit, now I'm like, hey, I like this guy. Do you feel the difference already? Who, could, who else could feel that difference when I did that? It's pretty quick, isn't it? If I walk up to a girl and I'm nervous and I, I pull my jaw back, tighten, hi, my name's Brian, what's yours? It almost could become scary for her very quickly. Well, this guy seems almost a little angry, possibly, you know? But if I open my heart again, I re I'm relaxing in here, relaxing in here, relaxing in the face, open my heart again. And then I'm like, hi, what's your name? And then you feel more looseness coming through here, right? Yeah. And so many of you guys walk around and just saying hi to girls. And it's just like, even doing the highs, 
high, 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 high. And there's just, you're blocking right here. There's armor on here, right? So we get that heart open. Now the energy tends to come down to the gut brain. And if you guys don't know what the gut brain is online, look up gut as a second brain. You'll see it. I actually think of the gut as the first brain. This is more instinctual information. This is your instinctual brain. This is where you get gut instincts. Do this, do that. I got a gut instinct. And that's because the energy can now come, it's, it's filled with all the emotion. You drop that emotion into the gut and you let that supercomputer of the gut take over. It's an instinctual brain and all the bacteria and stuff in there, they say has a lot to do with uh, how you behave, what's stored in those, in, inside that stuff, right? And they say that if they take all the bacteria out of say a rat's gut, it'll become super antisocial. They put it back, he becomes social again. So very interesting how these are very much linked, but if you pull all this energy up here by tightening here, pulling it all up, thinking too much, getting into the side of your brain over here and not letting this thing kick on, you just shut off the whole fucking vehicle that communicates with the physical world. And you can, how are you gonna get into flow state now? You're not gonna be able to do it. Unless something really hard hits you really hard and you just surrender because you're facing death or something or somebody might die or something, you know, that might put you in. Okay, then we drop down to uh, the second chakra, which would be the sacral chakra, or, and I just say, I just say turn on. <laughs> if you notice, this is the turn on of your body. This is where you get turned on when you're horny and you feel, you might feel love here, but you might feel, ooh, here, right? And there's this sense, hey, what's up? And you start moving from here. You notice all really good athletes, watch them on the, watch, watch some really good basketball players, football players, boxers, MMA fighters, they move from here. They this is free to express itself up here. This is the expression part of the body up here because they're balancing off of here. And you'll see that, they, that people talk about this. In athletics, they talk about how there's a balance point right here that moves up and down and moves around a little bit depending on how you're balancing. But if you move off of here or dance off of here, there's so much more freedom of expression in the body. The body can be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? So if I walk over to a girl from my, and I'm locked up here and I'm locked out of the rest of the body and I'm kind of tightened up through here and I'm like, hi, my name's Brian, what's yours? And you'll see guys doing this, right? Or if I walk over and I just relax a little bit and move from here more and open my heart and set the upper body free, flop in the back of my pelvis and I walk over, I'm like, hey, what's up? Do you feel the difference? Yeah. It's a big fucking difference to people. So that's where the, and then you feel more turned on, you feel more powerful, you feel more alive, you feel more passionate. So I always say that a lot of turn on and passion comes from here. Love, appreciation, joy, and gratitude come from here. So when you get this whole vehicle working, it's so powerful. The next one is the grounding. This is what we say, the back of the legs, the outside of the legs, they go down. And so just like a lightning rod, we're constantly, if I receive tension from one of you guys, I'm gonna ground it into the earth. Right? I'm gonna let it run through me. If you yell at me and I don't ground it in the earth through the kinetic chain, it's gonna get stuck somewhere in my body and it's gonna be hard to use that part of my body because I'm gonna be, if, I, if somebody like yells at me and I tighten in the, in the, let's say I tighten in the heart, it's gonna be like, it's getting stuck right here and there's gonna be this buildup. If I tighten in the stomach, there's gonna be a buildup and I'm gonna become tight and more, and I'm more reactive and it's huge. And so we wanna let this energy ground down and then you also receive energy up from the earth that feeds you. So you want to be able to let that, so once you start to relax and let energy go down, you start to receive energy back up, you become so much more powerful, so much more free, okay? And then it, that's when they say it runs up the spine, comes out the top of the head, and you also receive energy down through the top of the head, divine inspiration. I need to go, for some reason, I need to move to Bali, and I need to start a uh, a, a meditation center. I don't know, whatever this thing that you, don't, you can't even explain why it's there. There's no logical reason. It just keeps coming to you and it's coming, that's where they say the divine. So this is where you're receiving your energy from, here and here. And then you're projecting it out to the world through here a lot, right? And anytime, and this is another one in releasing, I don't say, I haven't said enough, but if you're stuck like here, check to make sure that your heart's not closed because it's really hard to make a shift if your heart's closed. If you're trying to release something that's stuck, I don't care where you're trying to release it from the body, check the heart. If the heart's closed at all in relation, like if, I, if I'm feeling some gut, uh, and then I open the heart wider, oh, and then, whoosh, and then it comes out, typically. Um, that helps a lot. So this is just a quick diagram to show an idea.